So you want to make a food journal. Now, whether you're making it for yourself as a gift, uh, you want to sell food journals, this video gives you the tips and suggestions you need. Plus, using tools like Canva makes it super easy to create a journal for personal or commercial use and fast. And of course, you can even use our templates to make it even easier. So in this video, we'll talk about why you or your customers might want to keep a food journal and the great benefits of doing so. Uh, how to design that journal with easy to use tools and templates and your options for printing your food journal uh, depending on you know what your unique needs happen to be and of course we will tell you how to get our our food journal templates and the writing prompt templates as well to make it a whole lot easier a food journal is often a record of daily dietary intake including you know what you eat and drink, portion sizes, and nutritional details. And in that case, people do that to monitor their eating habits, track their nutritional choices, and perhaps achieve various health and wellness goals. Maybe they'll lose weight, improve their nutrition, or maybe identify food sensitivities. Of course, you could also create you know, food journals to explore cooking and recipes, recording recipe adaptations, and more, and make it more about the love of food and instead of try, like just trying to, you know, the, the health goal. So lots of different ways you can approach it. Some pages that you might include in a more traditional food journal or like daily food intake log, nutritional analysis page, weekly meal planning, which would fit in any type of blog, water consumption track, tracker, special occasion indulgence log, um, you know, favorite, could be favorite recipes and things like that. Uh, prompts you might include could center around the love of food and cooking prompts recipe successes and challenges prompts, things about family meals or getting back to the health thing like nutrition, portion control, or food allergies, uh, food cravings, mood and emotional eating prompts. Of course, the sky's the limit in however you want to create your food journal. Our Canva template makes it easy as you've got a cover you can completely customize and some unique page templates to work with. Journaling is a very personal thing, so it's up to you what you want. Some people prefer free writing pages, some want simple writing prompts, and others want more structured pages. You know, maybe what you want is a combination of all those things. So I'll come back to editing the Canva journal uh, in shortly. But we also, to come up with prompts to include in your journal, we have a 300 prompt collection that you can also pick up. They range from, you know, very simple one or two word prompts to just, in, you know, get people to think. And they, you know, they, uh, and then range to more guided prompts. All right, let's take a closer look at this template and it will help you, you know, no matter what you're designing, give you some ideas uh, if you're using our templates or working from scratch. But when you do come to your template, anytime you can go down to grid view, you can see all the pages that are there. You can reorder them if you want to change, delete whatever you want. There we go. <laughs> And uh, let's, let's start out with the cover here. So also another thing that you should be aware of if you're new to Canva is there is always when you go to position here and you have layers, it shows you all the different elements on the page. And it's very helpful, especially when you come to more complicated layouts, uh, like things like this, right? You can see everything that's there. You can delete it. You can move it. You can uh, put bring one thing forward, bring back. But let's go back here because we're working on the cover and you know obviously you can change fonts uh, let's go with this family food uh, my family food traditions okay so the font is quite big but you can easily drag and drop this image over to where you need and that gives you a little bit more space to work I love Canva because you can just reorder fonts like or not reorder resize fonts by dragging and dropping which is something I've never I don't think Photoshop does I've never been able to figure it out uh, you can change this you can change the fonts obviously any any time you want um, and we'll do that so we also see that this is an image here and you can actually uh, adjust the colors for it as well um, here. So this is actually a transparent image. OK, 
because you can see here it's just white and it's picking up the background of the whole page which is this layer so if we wanted to we could like change this the part of this image to be a different color um, and then we probably want to change the font color but we won't worry about that right now I just kind of want to give you an idea of the things that you can you can do with it then you know running through we have these blank pages you can certainly add writing prompts here using our prompt collection or come up with your own um, or add quotes um, whatever you'd like to do now let's look at you know customizing one of these uh, templates into something more uh, to to your to to match what you're what you're trying to do. So maybe we could have a party plan. Uh, maybe you'd want to um, if you select again. If we go into the, we can you can select on this page or you can select looking at the layers, but you can select that and then actually duplicate it so you have two. And maybe we're just gonna move this up so it's a little more centered there. We could have the date, or we could give space for the occasion. And you know what? Occasion is one of those words I always spell wrong. I always forget if <laughs> it's what one us, two C's, whatever. Um, you could do it in capital letters and change that if you want. I'm not going to take up your time. But we can also, like, you know, this is very, we chose generic colors so that it's easy for you to go and update as much as you want. And if you're printing your journal too, you do want to be aware, uh, especially, you know, self printing and stuff like that. If your customers are going to self print or you're going to self print, that, you know, using a lot of ink might not be ideal uh, our color ink but here we could like make this the the main orange color so your document colors are here you can pick that um, and you could choose them all by the way you could also change this will when you select a color so I've changed this color to that on here I could do change all and it will do it throughout the entire document. So you'll have to check where it might have <laughs> might have had an effect. But you can do that. You can also, you know, obviously we could change we would change this to uh, menu grocery list and other planning and stuff like that too. Um, and in the interest of time and not taking up too much of your time, you'll see that we can um, you know the things that you can do you could also put some images in the background if you wanted again that would add to your ink and stuff but like uh, maybe it's a birthday party so we'll put birthday and maybe we want graphics probably more than photos in here and uh, maybe I'll we'll just throw a little cake here you can put it in here and and so now it's obviously taking up it's colorful it's bright all you do is go here and you can make it a little more transparent and you could add images to all of them so we have like also you know a weekly planning page which could be the menu planner uh, and you could see that that orange color did get changed here so you do want to be careful with changing all that same with fonts you can do the same thing when you choose a font you can uh, just change it to that and you can also change all and then it will change that particular font throughout your entire document um, and so the fill-in page could be you know part planning a special occasion as well um, you know a habit tracker maybe if they're trying to get on better uh, you know better habits of eating and then also our daily challenge to cook at home perhaps so this could be the cook at home challenge lots of different things you can do you can also search for different designs and layouts in the journal as well like if you want to do a menu planner you can see different designs here that you could easily incorporate as well 
When it comes to printing, you can, you know, you have a few options. You can print it yourself and place it in a binder, which is nice because it's inexpensive, but it also allows you to easily add pages and put them in the order you want. So if you're like repeating certain pages, you can put them all together. If you sell journals, many customers love printable journals for this very reason, and you can just sell them as a download. You can also have them printed locally, you know, if it's just for your, or like as a Staples or some local print shop, you know, if it's for your own use or a small run of gifts for friends or clients. Uh, Canva also has printing options uh, and, you know, places like Staples can do the comb binding for you and, and actually bind it up for you as well if you prefer. Now, if you're shipping and printing for customers using a print-on-demand service like Printify, Printful, Guten, or Lulu uh, probably makes more sense because they'll print your journals and ship them as you make orders. So, and it can be an automated process that that gets uh, incorporated into the the platform you're selling from. If you'd like to make easy work of creating your journal, we do welcome you to grab the, you know, ready to publish or edit journal, Canva journal, and the 300 writing prompts that can help you put together a more custom journal. Uh, the links are at the end of this video and in the description, and we look forward to helping you make your most awesome journal.